What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here, and welcome back to part 17 of our walkthrough, our pre-finale, our semi-finale. Anyways, great. We have a couple of orders of business. The first one is, uh, you probably noticed our chicken is missing. He's now at the chicken house. He's chilling, doing his thing. As far as Dompe Shack, you can go here and you can do one more dungeon builder. And then once you do that dungeon builder, you get access to plus hearts which is the last requisite before our last dungeon. And then you come back here, there's one more dungeon and you get a full heart container. In this episode, we're gonna be covering everything you need to do before going into the dungeon, cause there's not a lot of it. And then the dungeon itself. If you've been following along with the Let's Play, we have pretty much everything. We have 31 of 32 pieces of heart. The last one is in the last dungeon. We have 49 seashells. We have just one more to get. It's right outside of the last dungeon so we can get it before we go in. We have all of the upgrades. We have all three bottles. The only thing we're missing is the last fairy rod, the excessive number of chamber stones, that's super expensive. And here in the trending game, piranha plant. Yep, piranha plant. So I think for piranha plant, as soon as it touches the right, go. All right, that, that didn't really work out, now did it? I'm interested to see where it gets pushed because there's a chance that it's going to just stop in one single position and and knock over rupees on the way. That's fine. It's getting pushed around recklessly now. You know what? I, I think it's I think it's done moving. The product plan is definitely one of the harder ones, if not the hardest. Great. That worked out well. The piranha plant goes inside of the house you woke up in. On the left, he's the big boy. Feed me, Seymour. And now do you know what it's time for? Here! This entranceway. Good news, this is the last time we will ever be here. Fantastic, and now we make our way all the way to the rooster house. And if we come over here... Hey! It's Marin. Somebody help! What's wrong, Marin? Hey Austin, some monsters put me here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. Now this is like some real like Indiana Jones, Spider-Man superhero kind of stuff. Bam, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that was a surprise. Thank you, Austin. You're pr you're welcome, Marion. Say Austin, uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Hey look, it's bootleg Mario. Marin! Mario. She was literally about to say the feelings that she has for me, and you totally just blocked me. I don't care if this world is so weird and it, nothing makes sense. Our love made sense. One of these days, I'm gonna fight him in Final Destination. Link vs. Mario. Hey, it's Owl! The girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her ballad of the windfish is the song of awakening. Did she want to wake up the windfish? I don't know. Go to the west! Making our way back into this cave right here, which on the map is in this little rock quarry area. As soon as we show up, there is some crackling floors. Hold out your shield and just walk toward the flamethrower. But you could just stay here if you want. Don't know why you would want to, but you could. Now if you lift this up, this is our next to last warp point. And good news, we never have to go to that ever again. Now right up here, if we dig... In between these rocks, we get the 50th secret seashell. And before we enter the final dungeon, I just want to go ahead and redeem our 50 secret seashells. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth, the 50th secret seashell. It's going to fill all the way up to the top. That little seashell boy is going to glow up. Nice. Ooh, ooh, seizure warning. You've discovered every secret. The proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge the perseverance it took. May fortune bless you wherever you roam. My task here is finished. Hey, it's a big present. And a bunch of rupees! It was like 500 rupees. Open! And... You get a rock! 
for collecting every single secret seashell in the entire game, you get a rock. That's it. And, and a few rupees. All 50 of these seashells that you went all over this entire world for, you get a rock. It's not even like you can go back in here and get more rupees. It's just that, that one time offering a rupees and that's it. There's no way to activate this thing again. Enjoy your rock, everybody. All right, so fantastic. We just fast traveled back to here. Clear out the enemies. There's a telephone here, which we've never used telephones this entire game. That's fine. And now it's time to wake up this bad boy. So here's a giant stone. I think it's supposed to be a turtle. And you need to play the frog song. And that wakes him up from stone. Great, so this guy is going to charge at the wall and you want him to hit the wall and you need to hit him with either bombs or bomb arrows. Just like that. After either three bombs or bomb arrows, he sheds the stone and you see his face and you can just whack him with your sword. And there we go. That didn't take very long. And where his head was is the entrance to the very last shrine in the game. Ah, I keep saying shrine. Last temple in the game and houses the very last piece of heart. Fantastic. And welcome to Turtle Rock. First thing, we're going to head north and we're going to find this little devil guy. If you have a boomerang, I recommend you hit him with the boomerang and then make quick work of him. He's gonna split into two, and then just use your shield and you're fine. From here first, we're going to go west. And there's these little, I, I guess they're snakes. Defeat him, and now we're gonna go the only way that we can go, which is north, and there's a blue Henix. Take this guy on the same way you always take on Henixes, avoid him, and hit him. Should not take very long at all. Get your fairy, let's head west. Now, this guy right here is kind of like, I think it's Rob. You know, like Rob from, from NES and Super Smash Brothers. If you hold a specific direction, you'll see the top of Rob move. That defines which direction he's gonna go. And if you cover all the holes with these temporary pieces of stone, that solves the puzzle and I get 20 rupees. Nice. From here, we're gonna go south. And right here are some electric boys. Use your boomerang and collect the chest. That's 50 rupees. Neato. Now we're gonna head west. And here is another mini boss. After four hits of your upgraded sword, he should be down. Get your fairy again if you need it or make sure you have all three of your bottles full. Let's head north. And look, it's another little devil guy. Hit him with your boomerang. Got a couple hits on him. He splits into two and shield the little guys. Let's collect our key. And from this dead end, we're going to go back south. And south again. Just stab at that boy. Head to the middle. And open up the chest. Fantastic, that's a compass. From here, we are going to go back to the entrance right there. And uh, with the compass, you see that we have quite a lot of ground to cover. Now we could play Manbo's Mambo, and that will actually fast travel us back to the entrance. And that's just the easiest way of getting there. From the entrance, let's head north again. And the little devil is back, but just ignore him, head north. Now we're gonna head to a very large room with a another Rob. Do that pattern, up two and then left two. And that's gonna bring us to a bombable door right here. Also, we're gonna be able to push these out of the way. Push those out of the way, drop your bomb, take care of the slime, open up the chest. We get the dungeon map. Now let's head into here. From here, there's not too much we can do, so we're gonna head down the stairs. Watch out for these, these giant flames flame balls that are just gonna kind of pop out of nowhere. I mean, it's not nowhere. They're definitely coming out of the lava directly below them, but it can be unexpected. From here, there's some snakes to take out. And open up the chest. 
That's going to get us the stone beak. Now we have the dungeon map, the compass, and the stone beak. And only one way to go, which is north. Let's head north. And hey, it's the guy with the heavy ball from the last dungeon. Lift it up, throw it at him. Repeat three more times. And that's game. Now up north here is a dead end with an owl statue. I mean, it's not a full dead end because we have that staircase. We're not gonna go to those stairs yet, so let's head south. Now we're going to head west. And it's another room with Rob. Now, there's a few things that we need to do in this room. So we're gonna put a bomb right there and we're going to use Rob to make a stone floor the entire way. Now, if he hits the wall, that's fine. Just rezone out, zone back in. And fantastic, that drops us a key. And our freshly bombed hole in the wall, we're gonna go over there. And there's a switch. Now, as tempting as it is to hit this crystal, we're not going to hit it. Instead, we're gonna come over here to this bombable wall and bomb this bombable wall. Nice. And here leads us to the same one large room right here, except now we're on the right side of it. From here, we're gonna head up this small staircase and we're gonna be able to hop down right here and collect this chest. There's a slime. And now we're gonna head west and this room has a bunch of pots, and if you break the pots, it's going to release these guys, so get your boomerang ready. Oh yeah, did I mention that with the upgraded sword, you could just hit pots with your sword? Don't know if I ever mentioned that, but yeah, that's totally one of the best parts about it. In the top left corner, a pot is covering a switch. Step on the switch, and that allows you to backtrack. If you're very short on magic powder, be sure to stock up right now. And we're gonna head left, and this is back in that main room with the little devil. Head north again. Let's head over to Rob, and we're gonna go and put Rob so that he's facing right there. Follow the path and push this to the right. It's important, do not go up the left path. We're gonna go over here. Use the key on the key block. There's another devil who appears, and we're going to head right through the locked door. You actually don't need to kill the, the devil. From here, we're going to use the one-way only door to go north. And inside of here, kill all the slimes. There's uh, only four of them. Ooh, we got a piece of power, sweet dude. And now we head north. Now we have to kill these mummy boys and when you do, be sure to move a lot. You don't ever want to stay in one place too long because then the floor is gonna break from out from under you. That's gonna drop a key. Collect the key. Now let's head to the left. Now about these Dodongos. If you kill them, nothing happens. Like there's a weird pause in the screen and that's because you have to kill them by throwing bombs from the second floor. So we're just going to jump over them and make our way past. Now from here, we're going to head north up the stairs. In here, this chest up here has a secret medicine and there's a very good chance that you still have your secret medicine. So if that's the case, you're just gonna put it back in the chest and collect the items. Either jump up or use your hookshot or boomerang. And we're gonna head north up the stairs. Avoid the Goombas. Up here, hookshot to the right. Do not hookshot yourself directly into the fireballs. And now we're back in this room. Head north through the one-way wall again. And remember this room that we were in? Well, we're gonna do something a little different now. We're gonna place a bomb down right there. And head through it. Just attack the, uh, attack the electric balls. In the bottom left is gonna be a locked box. Open the locked box and head to the left. Inside of this room, nothing happens if we light those up. So just kill the snake. And then go through the door. Now in here, we're going to kill these snakes again. Avoid the, uh, the flying boy. And bomb the left wall. There are lots of bomb bombable walls here. Ooh, we get notified that there's an item. In order to get the item, you need to come down here and pull out your bow and arrow and shoot that in the eye. That secret was revealed to you via one of the owl statues. Is it this one? Is this one right here? Yeah, literally that one right there tells us to do that. Now from here, we're going to head to the west. Take care of him. 
Push that up. Push that to the right. Open up this chest. That gets us another key. Now, uh, we actually kind of need to go back out to the right, so we're just going to head up. We're going to zone out and zone back in. We're going to come back here. This is probably one of the last rooms we're going to visit. Now, back here, we're going to head north. We're going to kill the snakes and the devil, and that takes care of him. Now, from here, we're going to go up this very inconspicuous staircase, and that brings us to the overworld with the very last piece of art. Right there. Congratulations, that is the last piece of heart in the game. From here, there's only gonna be two complete hearts. One of them is at the end of this dungeon, and one of them is Dompe's Challenge, which we're going to go to right after this. Oh, also there's a uh, fast travel point. And then also right here, there is a hole, and we're going to go into that. Now, we're in the room with the Dodongos. You have to take a bomb, and you have to throw it in front of them. However, they may turn a completely different direction. If so, it kind of sucks. Nice. Nice. Come on, you're hungry. Nice. With the second Dodongo being attacked from up here, that's going to open up the chest. Well, not open it up, but reveal the chest. And another small key. Fantastic. Now, we actually need to back travel back to the entrance. Avoid the little devil. We're gonna go to the right. Push Rob up one, and then to the right. And we're gonna go all the way until we reach that bombed hole in the wall, where the switch is. Over here, hit the switch. We're gonna go back west, south down the stairs, jump down the ledge. Now we're going to hop down and keep heading west until we are back into the main room with the little devil. Here we are, we're gonna head back to the big old lava room with Rob. The whole point of that was to hit the switch and then be back here. We have to push Rob up into that crevice between those two blocks again, because we need to push this one to the right and continue up north again. Now from here, we're going to head east again into the hole in the wall. And remember that one-way door? Well, we're going through that one-way door again. From here, we're gonna head west. From here, we're gonna head west again. And finally, one more room to the west. We're gonna walk up here, unlock this, and go back to the right. Now, with the hookshot in our inventory, hookshot down, unlock that, and we're gonna head down these stairs. Carefully avoid the fireballs. Hop up here, because if you don't hop up here, you're just gonna slide off and that's gonna suck. Just keep going to the right. Now you ready for a real fun mini boss? Jump down to the south. Now we have ourselves a uh, sort of like a luchador fighter kind of guy. Wait till he starts to swing up and go at you. Whatever you do, do not let him punch you. Because if he does that wind up punch, he can actually knock you out of the fight. Generally, you're only gonna get like one hit on him because he is very nimble. But uh, he doesn't take a lot of hits and then he's down. Great. That also gives us a fast travel point back to the exit. But we're going to head northeast and see, see why we did all that backtracking? Because if we didn't, this would be standing up and that would be like the dumbest thing ever. Anyways, let's collect this chest. And it's bum, 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 the magic rod. The magic rod is one of the coolest items in the game. It shoots out fireballs. It travels the entire screen at your height. It doesn't really ever fall or anything else. You can, well not, uh, almost the entire length. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks in length. And uh, best of all, unlike other Zelda games, there's no magic meter, so you can do it as much as you want. If you just want to spam that as your attack forever, go for it. Now we are going to backtrack, hop down, head to the left, head to the left again, hop over the center island. Can you use the magic rod on these? Nope. Only the boomerang can attack the electric guys. Nice to know. 
defeat the Beemos. We're just gonna keep heading west and then we're eventually gonna go down here. And that brings us to the room with the two torches. You can't light them from up here, so we're gonna hop down, use the torch, set the snake on fire, use the torch, and... Bum, 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 bum. This is another key. Now from here, we are going to fast travel back to the entrance for, I think, and hope the last time. Avoid the devil. We're gonna take Rob, move him up one, and then to the right, and we're going to head there. Now in here is a room with a bunch of ice cubes and some Goombas. Kill the Goombas with fire, or however else, I prefer fire. Now this is a great example of, there's sort of a trick as to how the magic wand works. And you wanna jump up and then at the peak of your jump, shoot it. Head down. And from here we're gonna go down into this locked door. And hey, it's that similar squid boss that we fought before, except now uh, he's on top of lava. However, the fight is exactly the same. Just attack him. Hop over. And you can't really slice his butt either. Oh, we have the boomerang though. We can even boomerang to the other side of the room, which is super sweet. And after enough hits, he's going down. From here, we're going to head north for the last Rob puzzle which is done like this. And after that puzzle is complete, a chest appears, and that right there is the last nightmare key of the game. It's beautiful, right? Now we're going to backtrack the way that we came. From here, we're gonna hop down and... Nope. Go up the stairs, equip the hookshot, Open up the chest. And we get a purple rupee. Sweet, dude. Now we're gonna head to the left and down. Down again. Ow. Collect these bombs, arrows, and hearts. Push that over, and then we get a hop over. Now we're going to head to the east. Now from here, we're going to head down and push this into the lava. Up to the right, head up. And now we have access to this staircase. Avoid the little devil's energy attacks. Hop down, great. Let's come over here, collect these hearts. And this is the path to the boss. From here is a little puzzle again with the energy rod. We're gonna shoot that up, Goomba's gonna fall. Shoot that up. Just like that. I mean, sometimes you won't burn that top one and then you could just do that, but either way, you wanna land right here. And you're good. Uh, this one is significantly easier. Shoot that across, that up, and you're done. And here we go. It's the final room. That's it, that's all we missed. One locked door back to the medicine that we already have. Sweet, dude. We have an extra key, we profited. Open the door and make sure the magic rod is equipped, and let's go. Now this boss is a guy who likes to live in the lava. He's a giant fireball with crazy hair. His name is Hothead. All you have to do is just spam the magic rod button. And then shield if he's coming directly at you. Also, if he's shooting lava at you, Use your shield, because now with the magic shield, you can deflect lava. I wish there was a more dramatic fight for the last boss before uh, the end of the game, but there's not. Oh, and then he and then he drops the outer shell. Now he's smaller and more nimble, but still the exact same thing. Done. Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have changed. You cannot wake the windfish. Remember, you are something I didn't see. Because it's a spoiler. Hooray! There's a heart there. Let's go get it. Beautiful. 19 hearts. And the last instrument of the game, ladies and gentlemen, it's the drum. The thunder drum? Yeah, the thunder drum. The Imagine Dragons are a big fan of this instrument. 
Thunder. Egg. Huevos. Say huevos on the mountain calls. Yeah. Pretty sure huevos is Spanish for egg. All right, well, fantastic. That is going to be the final dungeon of the entire game done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we only have one episode left. To date, we currently have all of the instruments, all of the speeches, all 32 pieces of heart, all 50 secret seashells, every single upgrade, all of the bottles. We have a little bit to do right before going into the boss, and we're going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. So, if you haven't done so, check out the whole series over here in the next episode. All that's on the right side, and there's something over there, too. Great. Until next time, Austin John out. Every once in a while with the, the magic rod, it sounds like he says, What? What? You never played Tuber Simulator?